Howdy ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is a video by Dan, it's it Don UCD, or Don Ukid, Don, Don UCD, I don't know, like if I'm, okay, I'm probably like being Ed, anyways, Don UCD, I'll say, Dan UCD, so I say Dane, Dan, duh, uh, English brother, English brother, anyways, this is best streamer house in Latvia, Latvia, when I look Latvia up, it's a country in Europe. Very interesting. So, yeah. According to the video, this is the best streamer house in Latvia. Let's see it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. And shout out to Dan UCD. I'm just going to say it like that. If you want to take down my video, I do not mind. I'm just getting all videos to watch now. I'm just purely just, just, I watch everything. Okay, let's go. Was this built? Oh, I like how it turned on. I like that transition. Okay. Oh, that fireplace is sick. Oh, this. This gives me such. Okay, I love the black aesthetic, man. The black interior. I don't know how I feel about huge, huge windows. I'm. I know my girlfriend loves huge windows, but I love the black aesthetic, man. I absolutely love it. Yeah, huge windows like that. I'm not sure because I had a, I lived in a place that had gigantic windows and bro when you were young like me playing horror games and and scary stories like Slenderman and then having gigantic windows like that were not fun oh I like how it feels like it's okay so Instead of minimalistic, it's more modern because a minimalistic space would probably be way, way, way smaller. Like I, I use, I live minimalistic like in terms of what I keep on my person or around me. Like I literally have like one pair of shoes. I don't know why the heck I said that, but anyways, yeah. <laughs> but that's the. Um, this is modern. It's a modern look, but not minimalistic. But most of the spaces look minimalistic. They look very empty, but just like. Let me see. Let me just make sure I'm not. Yeah, it looks like it looks like really bare bones, like not too much stuff. Like see, like couch here, table, bed, little fake tree. I'm pretty sure. Finally, my new house tour. But before we start to tour it, I would like. <laughs> it's funny that I said I have one pair of shoes, and then there has that small clip. I thank so all my this. community, my YouTube community, my Twitch community, because without you guys. It just wouldn't be possible. And also, cool. I would like to mention that all the designs in this house are made by me and my production team in Cinema 4D. So pretty much everything what you're gonna be seeing right now, it is just our ideas. So let's begin our turn. Okay, so I know this is gonna sound weird. So I did DDP or design and drawing for production and we did like things, I guess like that on a much lower scale. Like it was an introduction to stuff like that. And I also used to build in Roblox. Imagine turning. That is hardcore, bruh. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, she's over here, you see, on, this is the main entrance to the house. She's dope on for the that. right That's hand dope. side, there is two built-in storages. Uh, I really do like them because they have uh, they are really minimis minimalistic and there is nothing popping out. On yeah. the left hand side, there's the first like level bathroom. I guess that's how you describe the look. It's like really modern and minimalistic. It like really is like this is my type of thing. I like I like right here. In the house, there is total exactly two bathrooms. Uh, this was this this one is the smallest one. Um, I really like the colors and it's really cozy. As we enter the living room, on the left hand side, there's I, my. I feel like I don't need so much kitchen. space, but maybe some one of you have already seen this place since I did some couple of cooking streams on my Twitch channel. But if we talk about the kitchen, there is a lot of uh, built-in storage over here. This cool. is a um, uh, freezer, fridge, freezer. Uh, oven, a microwave, and a coffee machine. And also my cool. favorite part of the kitchen, the island. This is the main place where you hang out with your friends, family, whenever someone is coming over, this is just super a cozy place. Um, and everyone is just liking to sit here, chat with each other. Here there is also a inductional uh, hub with the extractor. I'm actually really happy that nowadays there are such type of solutions where they build in the extractor because it makes your island look super clean, super minimalistic, and I just really enjoy it. 
Uh, and on the island, there is also built in a storage for the knives and also for the uh, spices, which you can just easily open like this and take whatever you need whilst you cook. And when you step further, um, there is a double light, which makes this place look super uh, wide and really bright. Bro, I'm just, a lot of, a lot of I'm just absolutely taking this in. I, I don't know how I feel about the lights. Like, I like them for the look of the place, and I like that it's, like, consistent throughout. Natural light is coming in. I mean, and I feel like I think you have to do this is one that. of the things which makes this house super unique and special. On the left-hand side, there is a boiler room, which I'm not going to show to you like... because there's a lot of mess. A couple state steps away from the kitchen, uh, there is the living room, so the uh, which is kind of connected with the kitchen because there is no walls in between, and yeah. uh, it makes this space uh, look really spacious and huge. Yeah. So yeah. basically, there like is that, that sofa, actually. which I think it fits in perfectly into the house design, mm -hmm. and uh, I love everything about it. Uh, also, a table, and you can tell like a lot of care. They, her and her team, put a lot of care into how every piece fits together, and I do like the um. Oh, I don't know if it's a bit too spacious. Maybe I'd put wall dividers in a way to break up some of the rooms if I had so much space like this. But it also depends where you live in the area. Like if you're not like, I feel like this feels like a like a secluded area, like away from people. So you don't really got to worry about kind of. Pe but Im imagine how creepy would this would be. I hate to put this in. If she's watching this video, I'd hate to put this in her head. Or if anyone's watching a video who lives in a type of like home like this, not exactly like this, but like in the middle of nowhere. Imagine seeing someone you do not recognize just at one of these windows, bro. Or just that's fear, though. You know, hopefully she's got the shotgun placed somewhere. I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, I mean, protect yourself for protection, self defense reasons only, right? And a TV on the gallery stand. She's a gamer, really do, right? Like... She's a gamer. She's a streamer, so I don't know what kind of stream she does. But I'm going to assume she's a gamer from that setup. Uh, because is, that a, when you sometimes is that an okay assumption? Watch TV during the mornings, evenings, um, and you can see as well the nature through the window. And yeah. it's an absolutely different experience. Over yeah. here, I have my little lounge zone with the two husk chairs in the middle. And also Ergo Focus fireplace, yeah. uh, which is just amazing and I love the design of this uh, fireplace. You can also spin it around and put in any direction you want, uh, but I normally cool. keep it just in the middle. And I think to have a fireplace in such a cold country as I do live is just a must be because during the winter times, it just it brings this um, coziness, uh, extra good. warmth into the house. And I really do love uh, this fireplace. It is one of my favorite places for sure to sit just in the evenings again read books, sick. and just uh, enjoy your free time That's there's sick. the main dining area uh this table is made out of the oak and uh, it is really spacious and can fit up to 12 people and actually this winter me and my family did celebrate christmas over here for the very first time that's cool. i would like to show you one last thing in this first yeah level. i like uh, i like how the lights like remain consistent throughout the whole thing that's definitely what i would do if i had a space like this well i got some of these lights right here of the house it is my main streaming room some people even do not notice that there is actually a room over here but there is this is my no, main see, place I where that. i spend majority of my time my logitech g streaming room welcome okay totally okay what's on the desktop we got in we got in most replayed was everyone trying to see what's on the desktop bro or probably maybe looking at the rest of the setup i see origin right there I, I don't know what symbol this is. So, little key look like Rogue Company. Or not Rogue Company, but something similar. Among Us. I, I'm so mad that I can see the Among Us right there. Um. Okay, she has Origin. Apex player, perhaps? Pictures and stuff. What's it like three of these? What is this image? OBS, uh huh. Oh, and um, oh, what is this? I can't remember the name of some of these. Um, I can't really see much for games. See, okay, so people said to rotate a monitor vertical and see how you like it. Like, I, st I have, I've have two of the same monitors, but I don't, and they rotate vertical. But I don't know if I ever want to try it. I don't know if it's is it cool. Is it like does it does it feel different to have one vertical monitor? It probably does for like chat and stuff, right? Right, right. I like to look at the chair. Logitech G, bro. 
Okay. As the house is made in a minimalistic design, streaming room is as well. On the table, yeah. I do have two PCs, which is okay. Game so it is a minimalistic PC. Okay. And since the day one when I started to stream, the peripheral choice was always to Logitech G. So you can see the Logitech G915TKL keyboard for the gaming and streaming PC, G Pro wired mouse for the gaming PC, wireless one for the stream PC, G Pro headsets, and Blue Dragonfly microphone, which I've okay. been using for three years. Absolutely love it. And over here, my favorite Logitech G Herman Miller chair. I'd like, like to thank my Logitech G family chair. for being with me during this three year of the journey. I have grown a lot as a person and as a streamer with them. Thank That's you so cool. much Logitech G for being with me. That's here cool. Maybe I keep different kind of things which are related to stream, different kind of gaming hoodies or everything what I get uh, from the gaming. It is over here. Uh, in this room, I do have as well a sofa. This sofa you can transfer as well as an extra sleeping bed. So if someone will gonna come over, I'm gonna always have space uh, to uh, for them to stay uh, overnight. I and like now, I like whatever this is on the wall. Are you ready to see the second floor? Let's go. I like that. I'm still like working on my space. We're my heading space, over to so the second floor. I wanna get wall stuff. And this place contains three rooms: master three rooms. bedroom, uh, big bathroom and also editing room with an extra bedroom, which I'm gonna be showing to you right now. And she lives in this all by herself. Here we are in the editing room, which I did create specifically for my production team, where we gather normally all together at evenings, we brainstorm about upcoming projects or the projects which, cool. we're, which we are working for currently. Even though sometimes my production team works here whilst I stream. Um, yeah, this uh, table is made again from the AUC, uh, which is as, as well adjustable. You can put any height. This minimalistic cool. looking PC, which uh, looks way more better than those big boxes. Um, and it yeah. fits really good on this table. And also this PC is gonna be legendary to me because on this PC, on the scene number 4D, this house was created, as I mentioned at the beginning of the studio. Um, posters of my favorite films and uh, TV shows as Breaking Bad, The Flash, Forrest Gump and The Blade Runner. So the main gear which we use in this editing room is the blue uh, headsets. They are not gaming headsets, they are uh, meant for to work with the professional sound like music making and mm. editing. So this specific headset helps us a lot in this editing room. Also recently I did receive the Logitech G Shrouds mouse. At the beginning I couldn't understand the shape of it, but now I started to enjoy to work with it a lot. Logitech G915 TKL keyboard, Blue Daddy X microphone, the monitor we use only one over here, which is 21 by 9 aspect ratio, and also sound, uh, sound monitors, which is Rocket 5. Here is one of my favorite shelves of the house, where I keep all my cameras over here. In total, I have four cameras, uh, Black okay. Magic and uh, Red One, which is right now on the gimbal. Also, my lens collection, and pretty much everything what is related to uh, filming. I think, I, think my, I think my cousin has a red camera. This camera, sorry. So like it. <laughs> Those cameras are insane. Sometimes my production team may work till late time, so they can just lay the, down here and sleep overnight. That's and uh, cool. build in storage again. The st I love how the storage When you exit the like editing room, like that. over here, there is a space where floor glass is made floor. from the glass. You can see everything what is happening in the kitchen, also a little bit in the living room. This, this space is not finished yet. I'm planning to make here a library with the two sofas where you okay. can just sit down, relax, maybe read some books and enjoy- No meditation yourself. area? Nah. Entering this door. Because I'm making a meditation area in my space. So I just thought of that. Actually, my girlfriend is. I gotta give that to her. Yeah, I like the lights now. I'm, I'm messing with the lights. I don't know if I like this. Oh, okay. This so this is the place where I sleep. Probably the best bedroom I have ever had in my life because of this incredible view through the window. Every single morning I wake up with the view to the lake, to the nature. It just gives you so yeah. much energy, power and positive emotions. It is just incredible to wake up here every single morning. On the wall, I have a big TV, uh, which I even realized is that was really a TV. amazing because you can put different kind of artworks on it and whenever you change different kind of art, it also makes a different mood in this room. Through the master bedroom, you can instantly yeah, enter yeah. the bathroom, but before we do, there is also a wear draw over here. I did create this unique shelf where I store all my favorite shoes. And <laughs> I also imagine I have one pair here, in there. Where I just uh, store outfits. 
We are entering right now to the bathroom, which is connected to my ba master bedroom. On the right hand side, um, you can see her and his sink, which I thought must be in a modern house. Also tube, it is really huge, but it's really amazing to take a bath tour here, just to relax and enjoy your time. Shower, which, uh, which is really minimalistic. You just enter here like this, open and uh, do your things. And behind this wall, there's a viral closet, but I'm not gonna show it to you. Obviously, what the heck? Wait, wait, wait. Where's the drain? Which is really minimalistic. Wait, the shower? Wait, the shower's right here? And then where does the water go? Is the drain, like, hidden? What the heck? Do y'all see this? How the... F how the... F how the fuck does this work right here? What is it? Oh my gosh, it's so open. I'm not gonna lie, I bet that feels good. To have, like, really open space. I noticed when I moved down to my space here... Like, I have wall dividers and stuff, but this is, like, I had to break up the room because it's extremely wide space for a new setup and stuff. But, I'm planning on doing more things for the look of a video. Or, like, how I'm going to change the camera angle so it's not always going to be this angle. But, how, this, this is insane. This is so open, bruh. Um, but I got to figure out where the, where the drain is, man. You just enter here like this, open and uh, do your things. And behind this wall, there's a viral closet, but I'm not going to show it to you. Mm. Obviously, there is also a door which leads you to the second floor bathroom. And now, okay. let's head over to the first floor and put some fire into the fireplace. That so for the conclusion, I would like to share my thoughts with you. I'm really glad that I didn't invest into this house because right now market price has raised up by 40%. So currently it costs way more than I initially did spend on it. Thank you so much guys again mm. for watching this tour. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It would help me a lot to build the future content for you. Like and comment the video and I see you soon. This video was such a good vibe, bro. Like, um, when I just, I just like had a moment in my head where I completely zoned out. That felt so good. But I just imagined. <clears throat> wow, I don't know why that hit like that. When it just got to her thanking everyone and, and like thanking everyone in the beginning, I was kind of there in the beginning of the video. Very. Let me say for the first, uh, just to wrap up the video too. Very, very, very beautiful build very beautiful house um this this like what makes it more beautiful to me is literally designing it in a program and then that's like some real cause and effect like you've seen the cause in your head you've seen you had the idea it came to you the feeling that the space the way you wanted it to look and your team sharing that vision and then boom put it into the, the physical so that's some real cool manifestation shit right there that's dope as hell and yeah i don't know listening to her talking again and talk through it i was living in my head just imagining doing this or having a space and just like seeing my mom like cry that i finally did it and i was like because this is something that i envision doing and i will get done i know one day i will be at this point where i build either either build a house or just have have a house i own and i build that house into the space or like like a fixer upper type thing i would not mind doing that because that's kind of the stuff i like to do like um yeah i just i just see it i just was envisioning myself in this space in a space but that this video brought me really good a really good feeling it's like when you see when you see someone else do it, it's almost like you feel that gratitude that they, they just make you feel it's like contagious. I like it. Um, much love moonlight. <laughs> I'm out of here. Farewell. And shout out to Dan UCD again, or I'm so I miss. Hang on. I want to hear if I miss. Um. Finally, my new house story. But before we start to tour it, I would like to thank all my community, my YouTube community, my Twitch community, because without you guys, it just wouldn't be possible. And also, I would like to mention that... I think I missed... Did she say her name in the video? Or I completely missed it out. Congrats, Dana. Is it Donna? Donna, I feel like I, I don't want to get the name wrong. 
Holy shit, this is insane. Super impressed, yeah. Donna, I think. I've never I've never seen um I wanna see the Twitch. I feel like I'm saying the name so stupid. Uh, live right now? Insane. Insane. Uh, I guess she is a streamer, so <laughs> FPS games, horror and some IRL. Oh my gosh, horror in that house. Hang on, we gotta see real quick. I gotta do this. Let's slide. Come on, I gotta get past the ad. Yeah, that's crazy though. Like I was really just that put me in such a different space when it got to the end of the video too. I I felt so like I was like, this dope, 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 dope. Okay, okay, here we are, playing some PUBG. What's up? She has that. She has the camera angle exactly how I how I like. I kind of like this corner camera. Does she have a bunny? Is that a bunny or a dog? Mans and they can afford fighting that long in the blue. She out here gaming. She gaming. That's cool. All right. Shout out to her. Shout out. This is just really cool. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Much love and moonlight. And farewell.